hey there everyone ramesh here back again with another video in this video i am going to show you how to deploy spring boot muc application to heroku well in previous video i have shown you how to deploy spring boot rest api application to heroku now in this video i am going to create a spring muc application using spring boot and time leap and then we will deploy this spring muc web application to heroku all right guys pretty simple guys just follow the steps so look at here uh, these are the steps so very simple steps first we're gonna create spring MUC application using spring boot and time leap and then we host a source code of this project on github and then we we'll log into heroku and we create a new application in heroku and then we deploy this spring MUC you know application to heroku from github repository and then we'll test this spring MUC web application from the browser very simple steps guys so these steps are applicable to any kind of spring boot application that you deploy on heroku all right so let's go ahead and let's create a spring MUC application from the scratch in eclipse sts id we're gonna use eclipse sts id to develop our spring MUC web application with time leap so in eclipse id go to the file new and then choose spring starter project so this is a spring initializer website which is integrated in eclipse sts id to quickly create spring boot projects all right so let's give a name to the project spring boot tutorial something like this and then keep type as a maven and packaging jar in java version 8 language java and group id net.java guides and artifact id is going to be our project name and description and then package all right once you are happy with the details click next and here we're going to choose spring boot starter dependencies so we are going to develop spring MEC controllers for that we are going to use spring web starter dependency so we use spring web starter dependency to build web applications as well as restful web services okay and spring web starter dependency internal uses spring muc libraries along with that apache tomcat as a default embedded container and we can also use timelib right so let's choose timelib uh, starter dependency so these are the two dependencies are enough to create our simple spring muc web application and hit finish all right so look at here a uh, spring boot project is created all right now let's quickly create a spring muc controller so go to the package here main package right click on package new and then choose class and let's name this class as hello world controller all right and let's make this class as a spring MUC controller by annotating at the rate controller annotation and let's quickly create a handler method which will just return a time leap template let's give a method name as hello and this returns a time leap template called hello world okay great and let's annotate this handler method with at the rate get mapping annotation so this will basically handle http get request and let's give a request url as hello now we're gonna return some data to the view right for that we're gonna use a model here and we we'll simply add some data to the model let's use add attribute add attribute method and here just give key as message and value as something like hello world okay so this is our simple uh, method handler okay so it returns a hello world time leap template and this time leap template we're going to create right now let's right click on templates folder new and then choose file that is html file and let's call it as hello world dot html Alright guys, so this is our time leap template. Let's go ahead and let's design it. 
let's replace title with hello world app let's call it as timely hello world app okay it makes sense so let's let's add timely hello world app and now we simply print a message that we have added to the model okay we simply print this message in a html page so in order to access this message we're going to use timely expression okay so let me copy this message key and we're going to use this key in a html page using timely expression so here i will use h1 tag and inside that th colon text and look at here the syntax let me give some text here time leave space pause and this is the time leave variable expression to access java variables and then plus and here i say app okay so this prints time leave hello world app so message means hello world right so that we have given a value to the message here hello world all right all right let's quickly run spring project and let us see how it works okay great so look at here spring boot project is up and running on default tomcat container running on port 8080 now let's open a browser and let's access uh, hello world a template page in a browser just type localhost 8080 slash hello so you can able to see here timelip hello world app is printed on a web page now let's go ahead and let's create a repository to host a source code on github log into github account and click on new and let's give a repository name as spring boot timelip web app heroku something like this all right so once uh, you are happy with the repository name then let's also give a description over here deploy spring boot time leap web application to heroku all right now go ahead and click on create repository button so this will create a new repository on your github account all right guys now we have created a github repository on github account let's go ahead and let's open our spring boot project in file system let's go to the eclipse from properties option so this is a location and click on this icon it will navigate to the file system all right uh, double click on this project and let's right click and open git bash to host the source code of this project on github repository now let's uh, use git uh, commands here let's use git init to initialize project as empty github repository and then git add uh, dot to add all the content to the repository and then git commit let's give a message as spring boot uh, time leap example something like this you can give any commit message that you want all right guys now uh, what we'll do well, let me just copy the command here git branch hyphen m main so as you know that like uh, github changed the uh, you know uh, repository name from master to main let's copy the remote uh, origin url to map our local repository to remote repository paste it here and hit enter and then let's use git push hyphen v hyphen u uh, origin and then main so this will push the source code from local to remote repository it's pretty simple guys so this is the second step oops so let me let me delete the credentials of github repository uh, from my windows and then i will uh, re-enter the username and password here it will ask username and password while you push the source code from your local machine to github repository and once username and password is uh, valid you will be able to push the source code from your local machine to you know remote github machine 
all right guys once we push the source code to github repository go ahead and click on this link so you can able to see here the code is hosted successfully on github repository all right guys, this is the second step now now let's go ahead and let's uh, log into heroku and create a new application over there so let's open browser and type heroku login and navigate to the heroku website if you are new to Heroku, then make sure that you create an account using sign up option here. You need to just enter first name, last name, email address, alright, and the company name, and then role uh, like professional developer. And you need to enter the country and primary development language like Java. Alright, so I have already signed up, so let me log in quickly. All right, all right guys once you log into Heroku uh, we're gonna create a new application in Heroku all right so once you successfully logged into Heroku you can able to see here this is the dashboard over there you can find all your uh, you know applications in Heroku go to the new and create a new application over here just type uh, application name something like Spring Boot web app and then Heroku okay this application name is available so let's keep as it is and this is the default reason keep united states as it is you can also choose europe for if you are near to europe all right now we have created a new application in heroku okay and go to the deployment section here you can see the deployment method heroku git github and container registry so these are the three deployment methods provided by Heroku we're gonna use github deployment method click on dip, uh, github so I have already logged into github from Heroku so if you are not logged into github from Heroku uh, the page will be popped up and you will you need to enter credentials of github to login okay let's copy this github repository uh, name and uh, enter here and search it all right here we go so this is the github repository that we, that we want to deploy right and click on connect so this will connect uh, your github repository from heroku all right guys great and then here deploy a github branch here we need to choose the appropriate github repository let's choose main and hit deploy branch button so this is a single click uh, deployment guys it's very simple you just click on deployment branch uh, button so Heroku will take care of everything it will build your Spring Boot project and it will create an artifact and it will uh, deploy and create a you know a project link okay let's wait a couple of seconds uh, it will uh, build a project here we go build a success all right and it's compressing and then launching so this is the URL that is pointing to our deployed project on Heroku the your app was successfully deployed and then click on view button it's loading still loading okay here we go our spring boot application is successfully deployed guys now what we'll do we'll just copy the handler method endpoint uh, URL that is hello so once we once we type slash hello here slash hello and then it will it will you know open the web page uh, like time leap hello world app all right guys we have, we have successfully deployed our spring boot mvc application on heroku and you will be able to see the uh, you know web page that is displayed on browser all right guys so these are the very simple steps guys first step is you need to create a spring boot project and uh, we need to create a repository on github and then we need to host a source code up our Spring Boot project into GitHub repository, and then we log into Heroku, and then we have created a new application Heroku, and we have used GitHub deployment method to deploy our Spring Boot project from GitHub to Heroku. It's very simple, guys. All right, guys. I hope you found this video useful. Just follow the steps; you will be successfully able to deploy your Spring MVC application on Heroku. Thanks for watching guys, I will see you guys in next video.